Well, 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 and so welcome back to Colombo. I am standing here right now on a very interesting platform overlooking the Sri Lankan Ocean. This is a little bit the city view. We're looking down here at the highway, trains are passing by. And guys, this is our home for the next couple of days. Stay well, well, that is one hell of a view, I would say. Ooh. Yeah. Alrighty guys, before we continue with the tour, I'm upstairs right now by the pool. Let me tell you about one thing that you might need if you're planning to travel, if you're already on the road, which is the travel and medical insurance. So the one that I personally use is Safety Wing. And what makes them special is just how easy and flexible they are. You go on a website, within a couple of minutes, you are insured, you get the certificate. If you travel to a country where you need one, in the airport they might ask. On the other hand, it's one of the few insurances that are, it kind of like works like a membership. So if you're traveling for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, you can get insured exactly for that time frame. If you want, you can use it as a long-term travel medical insurance as I do and just generally it's also fairly affordable if you compare it to the major competitors at a similar insurance rate safety wing is definitely a good option so 24 7 our support of course uh, worldwide coverage check them out in the description down below if you're planning to travel anytime soon and with that well let me show you around here just a little bit more All right, all right, guys, so just coming in right now into the Grand Bell. Gonna be checking in, haven't seen anything yet. This is a little bit of the lobby and the best part is ocean view as far as the eye can see. Alrighty guys, so for the first time right now, gonna be coming. It's like very, very much so an ocean hotel. So today I wanna take you along a little bit and show you what pretty much something around a hundred dollars can get you in Colombo so you've already seen outside the view is absolutely amazing this is pretty much a little bit the seating area in the back all the time you're looking at the ocean and honestly so far I've seen a little bit of Colombo I've seen the nice somewhat modern part of golf phase there nice small but in terms of the hotels like right by the sea truly something let me just the bathroom very nice clean minimalist but that is truly something i don't think i'm personally gonna be going crazy with the bathing here but just kind of nice to have and earlier when i just first first checked in i've kind of like went up here i was like oh wow we have a balcony here and then i'm opening it up and i'm coming out and you just get really smacked by this view so this is the 17th floor they're supposed to have a rooftop they're supposed to have some type of cafes here and um yeah let's explore the building a little bit and i also think we're not alone today let's go make some new friends how about that so let's close this down otherwise very windy and yeah in case you're new here by any chance right now we're starting off the sri lanka travel series been here already for a good week colombo gonna be really traveling through some of the main hotspot while also really feeling out the country at least gonna be here for one month and uh yeah always nice to have a nice little home so let's grab the cart maybe have a little water and let's explore what else this place has to offer hopefully we can get the bird out a little bit as well because i think the view is really scenic here Nice and woody, nice and fancy. Okay, I think we're going here then. So here's a little bit nice and busy roof. Yo, yo! How you doing, man? Good to see you. Cheers. How are you doing? It's nice and busy up here. Here you go. Fresh juice. I have this pineapple, watermelon, and papaya. Oh, that looks. That sounds really good, actually. 700, which is around two dollars. Wow. Okay, prices are also not bad. So we got today's special guest. 
How are you doing, man? So it's Davud, right? Davud, that's correct. We pronounce like yes. that. It's amazing to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I've man. I've been watching your vlogs uh, for a while from Albania. I think even before I started vlogging. So it's been a while. I mean, Albania was like two years, I think, yeah, something. Yeah, I think you lived there for a while, so you were doing. During lots COVID, of it was the place to be, and yeah. it was like very calm and stuff like that. And that's exactly the time when I was starting with vlogging cool. and going to countries. Nice. So it's crazy. I've been watching you even before I started, and now we are here. Yeah, thing. it's pretty cool. We've been <laughs> keeping in touch over the last couple of weeks. He said he's coming into Sri Lanka. And uh, yeah, and last year you have been like pretty much exploding quite nicely, right? Yeah, last it's last one year. Over 100 in the last year, right? Uh, yeah, it's last one year and a half. I'm on the road full time. There's no place I'm calling home. So awesome. I'm traveling full well, time. Well, I think we here on the channel definitely can relate a little bit. So yeah. Should be a video series yet. Make sure to check out Davud as well. I guess we're gonna hang out a little bit around the hotel and exactly. explore a little bit. Yeah, I guess you lift a little bit yourself, right? Yeah, yeah we're we gonna should. hit some weights. Yeah, I, I checked it. Did you see the gym? It's they have good? a great gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, they have a 50 yeah. kilos. I yeah. have never seen in dumbbells? a hotel room. Yeah, dumbbells 50, 50 kilos. Grand belt. And it's a, it's a Hummer Springs. So, great all right, brand. all right. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna check out the pool, gonna have a little drink, and then we'll continue today's little tour. Exactly. Okay guys, just to give you a quick little idea. So this is the roof. I think this side is the bar. Once again, everywhere, this super nice design. And we're on the 27th floor, but honestly, it feels a little bit higher, I gotta tell you. So if we come around the corner, this is, let's say, the sunny side. This is what we're seeing actually from the room. So you know, you can sit down a little bit here. And let's say it like that. <coughs> the pool it's truly something i think we're gonna come back tomorrow morning when hopefully it's gonna be a little bit quieter but wow just let's say because you're so close to the beach it's kind of like infinity pool into the sky a little bit so this is it have some nice little columns on this side can swim a little bit back and forth and i would say we're definitely going to continue the stepping up the tanning game in this hotel so considering the price very impressive so here's another like let's say little smaller pool island also integrated some greenery i love when hotels do that or condo buildings just you know you have a roof come on put on some trees on it it will really add and it definitely does so let's go hang out with david a little bit it sounds like we're gonna check out the gym as well or let's say like that ice but i ordered was ice for you all right nice. no sugar cheers no sugar perfect I know you're a fitness guy. So. Mm, wow, it's actually good. It's good. Yours is with sugar? No, no, no sugar. There well. we go. Yeah. Oh, man. First, and then, uh, and then I realized. Uh, <laughs> yes. Let's see. Ooh, the gates to heaven. So pretty much, you could say the gates to heaven. These little doors that are opening up. So yeah, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Ooh, what a beautiful view. Yeah, it looks a bit taller than just 27th floor, honestly. Yeah, it looks. I think we're like on one of the highest buildings in the city. Cool, man. Yeah. It's beautiful. I think the view to that side is more magical. Have you seen the uh, Have you seen the tower from here, all the way in the back? No. It's pretty yeah. sick, actually. Yeah, let's go check it. You mean the Lotus Tower? Yeah, yeah it's TV Tower, right? Sticky? TV. TV. TV Tower. I think yeah, so, right? It's called Lotus Tower. Yeah. I think there's a restaurant at the top as well. Yeah, it looks sick. Maybe the... we can. Go check it out too. I've never been there, but there should be some restaurant at the top. Yeah, I'll be down. Check it out. Woo! I think this go. view is a little bit, yeah. a little bit even better. Beautiful. There's also a little lake there where you can go for a ride. With the swans? Yeah, with the swans. You yeah. did that? I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> I saw it in Max's video, like. Yeah, that, it's uh, the water is not that clear, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fun. But the view is yeah, it's the crazy. View is so nice. Oh wow, and these like fairly modern buildings over there. Yeah. And this is the train line yep. which takes you to the south coast of Sri Lanka. Yeah, I drove out a couple of days ago, but it was unfortunately a bit cloudy, so it didn't look nearly as good as it does today. But yeah, let's go check Magical out. Magical Sri Lanka. Yes, sir. Welcome, guys. Your first day, your first day. You yes. have the genuine excitement <laughs> right now. Just no, no, pop. I, I, this is my third time, actually. Yeah, so yeah. after one year. Uh, no, 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 no. I've been there. Uh, so my first time was in January. Mm. And afterwards, I arrived here. Uh, I think during the summer or late, late summer. So last time was here, like what was it, like seven, eight months ago, something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah, cool. Not too long. 
Well, first time for me. That's where we come home now after three times. <laughs> Yeah, I like the design of the hotel overall, did like a really good job. Okay, so this is the ground floor, the reception is at the first floor. What up, what up? Hello. Ready to go. Time for a move. The tuk-tukers are also always ready for you. They are always ready. It's like, you know, I, one of the things I love the most in my life is going for a nice walk. But in these countries, it's hard. They don't let you. They're like, come on, man. Yeah. Take a ride. Don't walk. And then they will waste the fuel and follow you. No, no, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, and actually, Sri Lanka so far has been pretty good for walks, even uh, Colombo. So we're gonna basically, we're, I think, 10, 15 minutes walk from my favorite area, the golf face. The hotel looks a little bit something like that, so 27 floors, you've seen us upstairs. So yeah, let's go hit the road a little bit, see what is going on. Alright, you already have clout in the country, huh? <laughs> As soon as I arrived to the airport, yeah. even immigration guy, he gave me his number. He was like, if you have any problem, no problem. Perfect. So, Let's yeah. overstay our visas then. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. I, I think that's what's going to happen yeah. in a few weeks. Yeah, people are super nice here. Yeah, yeah. Very welcome. I was actually surprised by how, like, people here, they just seem like, I, I thought it's Colombo, but then everywhere I go to, like they have really good English. They really know a little bit like what yeah. is going on in the world. They recognize where you're from. Exactly. They hear my voice. They're like, first I thought Russia, but you're American. <laughs> I'm like, eh, sort of. They know. You're on to something there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's true. They're very educated. They have uh, yeah. good English. And people are like interested about outside world. So they're not just stuck in their space, in their bubble. I think that's what makes Sri Lanka special. Especially the young generation. Yeah, it's very easy to travel. Correct. So far, correct. Up, uh, other than these trees, there are obstacles. <laughs> a little bit. Hello. Oh, Mikey, Ooh. Mr. Mikey. Yeah. How Guys. much Mikey? Mike, Mike. How much? Mike, Mike. No buy. Uh, monkey is being offered. Yeah. Hilarious. We are buying monkey in Sri Lanka. <laughs> so, guys, we so made it out to the Gaul face. Nice it's kind of like a nice, large, little greenery area. This is where they're building the modern mall. So the first day I came to Colombo, for me, that was really the place where I started. And I kind of fell in love with it. So yeah, it's nice to have the hotel close by. Basically, Bro, we're staying. What's up? What's up? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we also have the hotel right there. Bro, I'm all good. If you want to entertain the show. No, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the man literally has a fucking cobra. And he makes her angry now. Oh my god. That's very dangerous. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, man. Yeah, so he literally has like a baby cobra. It's very small. And he makes it angry. <laughs> he gets it out. Yo, perform! Let's go. 200 rupees. Here we go. Yeah, so that's kind of like my favorite area, would you say, of Colombo? Is that like the nicest area or...? Yeah, during the yeah. night, I think it gets more lively. People hang yeah. around here, they play. And I, I think they actually like made it more green before it was more dry. Yeah, uh, when I stayed back there, I came out here in the morning to like run and stuff like that in the morning. Nice. It's actually quite a vibe. And I think this kind of platform is newly built by the flag. Is that considered like modern Colombo, this? Or is there yeah, another? Say, is there I, another modern area in Colombo? Do you know? I would say this area is the most yeah. modern. It's mostly done by the investors, China, India. So that's pretty cool. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think they're around this Gale Mall. That's basically well, the center of Colombo. Especially when they're gonna finish this one up, and I think this one they're kind of finishing up. Looks, I mean, looks freaky. Looks. Yeah. Oh, there's a transit between them. Yep. Cool. And we also have the kite here. Cool. Basically, one dollar. Oh. 
came out all the way to let's say the future of Colombo. First night I was here, walked around a little bit. So a little bit Dubai vibes. Exactly. Here's the yeah. picture of how it's gonna look like actually. So basically there's like a little bridge in the back, but the best part is if you get out here, it's not about where you're standing on, it's more about what you're looking at. So you get to properly see the skyline of the modern part of Colombo. And yeah, first time for you here, right? Well, yeah, it's my first time and there gives go. me Dubai Marina vibe. It does, it looks like it on the camera as well. It's beautiful. Yeah. Especially with the sunset. Alrighty, so that is basically the area where we're staying. I think plan for now is we're gonna head back to the hotel and check out a little bit their dinner. Let's see. The girls that are on the field trip are back. <laughs> Davud is the master of like social <laughs> vlogs. What, what did you say? It's like it's easy to approach girls, it's, uh, was it? Yeah, I was saying that it's much easier, especially in a Buddhist and Hindu countries. It's much easier to approach to ladies. There is a less tension. For example, in Islamic countries, it's much harder to open up the conversation. Makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. Because of the social pressure, even the woman might be more comfortable with the idea. But still, just, so that's why in Buddhist and Hindu countries, it's much easier. You just go and talk, and they're also very welcoming and open. Like, for example, also filming in just, general uh, already. Hi, girls. How are you? Hi, Bob. Hi. 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 <laughs> Super crazy. And there you go. <laughs> Man of the hour gives you the lines. Iboban is the go to. Wow, their dresses match to the sky. Yeah. Your dress look like a sky. <laughs> a poet. <laughs> Not loud, man. So, the port of Colombo. Uh, earlier, we talked to them basically. They're kind of like on the university field trip, somewhat of a field trip uniform, as you see. Lots of people wearing it. So, yeah. That's already our friends. Let's get some transportation and let's see. So here's like a little bit, let's say, of the vision. This is how they want it to look very soon. So this is Thailand on the left, Bangkok. Yep. And this is how they want it to be look like. Well, impressive. Okay, back from the nice little walk. Really enjoyed the sunset, really nice area overall, fairly central. Like you live on the main street, walk down a little bit the road and you're already in the main town. So um, yeah, dinner time. Really hungry right now, really excited to see. So we'll see how much I'll shoot. I'll take the camera, just give you a little idea. So hungry. If the, if the restaurant is as good as the rooftop in the gym, then we're in for a treat. So let's see. Right, here we are on the ninth floor. The music is playing, the design. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go! My there date for go. tonight! Oh no, I have to cut that out! <laughs> the legend is here. How are you doing? Um, yes, uh, for... Uh, what is my room? 1702? 17. Yeah. Dinner for two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. Thank you. So it's a buffet. Oh, it looks great. Buffet, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Let's for us. see, where There's should we there. sit? Came down, there's nice little peaceful music playing and it's a dinner buffet so we're a bit early so we're still kind of first ones how does it look look at my face i'm so yeah, excited yeah man <laughs> you know how do you feel about buffets what is better ordering from the menu or buffet no, i think buffet you have more choices and you also see what you are getting like when you order from the menu without pictures normally like i don't know, don't know what i always get. make the mistake i think i come in a little bit too hungry to the restaurant <laughs> and then just waiting is torture so buffet is like yeah, exactly. easy on the nerves right so yeah buffet. Let's check in a little bit the options that we're having. So here is some Thai fish curry, really, really, really quality stuff. Butter chicken. So it looks like we can try our way through a little bit. The different cuisines, here we have some chicken biryani and overall, yeah. Look at that, here's like a little cocktail drink. So it's a dessert corner. Here you can get some drinks. And let's say it like that here. <laughs> closed it's so peaceful you don't hear anything if you open it up it wakes you up nicely sun is coming up trains passing by like every hour or so beautiful at the 
Grand Bell Colombo. I mean, look, most of the time waking up kind of like, you know, being inside of the city can feel a bit overwhelming, but because we're kind of high up, it feels like a little bit of a safety spot to enjoy the action, to see the sun rising, you see the traffic passing by. We're on a little bit of a quieter street right by the water, but the cool thing is you also see the trains passing by. So yeah, absolutely beautiful way to start the morning, but an even more beautiful way perhaps, just perhaps, would be to get the blood flow going. Okay, let's go. Good morning! What up? Let's go! <laughs> Good to see you, man. When did you come? Just now or? 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes? Alright, man. Just on time. I, I was like, is this man sleeping or not? <laughs> Respect! When it's time for Iron Temple, I'm always Nice, like, man. Let's go! My boy! Oh. 40s, come on, man. Easy. This is just one 15 year old child in hand. Let's go. <laughs> Hotel gyms usually. Sometimes you don't even find 50s in a commercial gyms, so. Yep. So guys, just finished up a nice, juicy workout. What do you think? You got the 40s in? That was amazing. Yeah, I'm not all the way 40, but yeah. next time we try 50s maybe. Next time it's uh, tomorrow morning or? Uh, <laughs> That's the last day, so. Yeah. <laughs> last right. day we're gonna have access to 50, so we have to go for it. Really, really good gym. Not too big, but perfectly equipped. Has literally everything, so. Yeah, let's go hit the breakfast. See how well equipped that is. What are you saying, huh, baby? What were you saying? <laughs> I was saying, Habibi, come to Sri Lanka. Check this out. Yeah, quite a view, huh? It's beautiful. Yeah, man. Just in the morning, it was more shadow. The light was kind of like shining through because sun's coming from there. Yeah. Really a vibe. It's and great. it feels high. It feels really high. Yeah, it's really high. Which floor is it? 17. 17. 17. It feels more like 30 or something. Wow. So, yeah. Can I change real quick? Just to not For breakfast. intimidate the people with the gains. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are back to where we have been yesterday. Hello, good morning. Uh, 1702. Thank you very much. Thank you. Looks even better than the dinner buffet, huh? Wow, it looks very colorful. I mean, not better in the sense, but like just, let's say, more richly equipped. So pretty much similar to yesterday's dinner buffet. But now that the sun is out, you see that there's pretty much unobstructed ocean view. So we've got a lot of different options here kind of oh nice this is a little bit the egg station pancake station in heaven pretty much so yeah beautiful a view of the ocean similar to what you get in the room as well and yeah once again like a uh, this space both for dinner or breakfast really nice just because of how open it is how much daylight and let's say just the ocean in the back what else can you ask for so definitely gonna load up on the fruits here a little bit gonna make a little salad do you actually drink coffee? Yeah, I love coffee. Yeah. Who doesn't, man? It's the workaholics <laughs> drug. <laughs> nice. Heating up the breakfast, let's say it like that. At every breakfast place, we're gonna find the best dishes, the best, let's say, macro and micronutrients. So first of all, we got a little bit crazy on the fruits, passion fruit, a little bit of melon. And here we got grilled mushrooms, egg station. So I, they also offer like egg whites. So we got like three egg whites, two whole eggs, a little bit of veggies, chicken, 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 and one mysterious fish. Seriously, the fish is so black. It's pretty good. I think it's tuna. A little bit dry, but very lean, so perfect. After the gym, just what we need. 
The pool that I've showed you earlier on, I have to tell you. Wait, so what I showed you in the morning, this is the pool. And I have to tell you, if you stand here, okay, everything is safe, everything is cool, you know, you have this like safety thing, this like little lanterns, but when you stand up there, it almost looks really freaky. Like honestly, standing here might be a little bit dangerous maybe you know from some of my content you know every pool i come to i want to st stay on these ledges but here's a bit tricky i would say but yeah this almost looks a little bit like the dubai like like a little palm you know exactly but it's natural right is it or is it man-made uh hmm. this one i'm not for sure yeah it's like, uh, it's interesting all righty so basically definitely a hotel in itself an experience in itself just to hang out a little bit the grand bell as i said considering the price the value is quite insane you said you booked for like 50. i booked uh, for a really special deal so it was yep. like 50 dollars a night mm. which, which i think no one can ever find it except if you're in booking.com so check it. them a lot yeah check it out i mean definitely i think if it's not 50 it starts at 70 i think whatever. Alrighty, guys and so See you in the next Sri Lanka video. You've got a world to see. And you can see quite a lot from up here. Well, well, that is one hell of a view, I would say. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>